friends, welcome back to my channel. Many of you have wondered or asked or wanted to know more of the contents of what was actually inside my hoarding closet. If you are new to my channel, my hoarding closet is basically what I so lovingly have labeled the closet in my apartment that houses all of my Bath & Body Works products, all of my hair care products, basically anything that's not currently in my bathroom that I am putting on my body in some way is sitting in that closet. It is predominantly made up of Bath & Body Works products, but there are other brands mixed in, especially Fortune Cookie Soap. It's kind of really starting to take over a lot of my collection and focus, but it's been a long time since I went through what was actually in there. I had a series, I wanna say, at least three years ago, if not longer, that I did, and I hadn't since pulled out everything from my closet. I won't lie, it was cumbersome. It took me far too long to actually do, and I probably won't do it again for a very long time, but many of you would ask for it, and I even threw in other categories that I've never really shown in my hoarding closet before, like my hair care, my skin care, my shampoo and conditioner. So I'll leave timestamps down below so you can kind of jump around to see if there are just certain categories of the closet that you're really curious to know what actually comprises those numbers that I talk about in my various updates of how I'm doing with my hoarding closet throughout the years. I also was a smart cookie and counted those items as I was going through so I'm definitely going to follow up with you guys to tell you of how I have made progress since my last count and where I'm at with each category so stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and jump into what is in my hoarding closet. Okay, so these are the only non Bath & Body Works hand soaps that I have. I have this Cosmic Unicorn Jelly Soap from Fortune Cookie Soap. I think this is like one of the like jellies that they sell from like Lush, but I'm planning on using it as a hand soap. And then I have this Method Vanilla Chai. I've never tried the Method hand soaps before and it was on Super Sale at, I believe, Walgreens. So I figured I would try it out and pick it up. All right, these are the various Bath & Body Works hand soaps that I have. I have one of the exfoliating hand soaps. These are not my favorite, but I love the scent Winter White Woods. So I'm thinking of maybe using it, or if they come back out with this scent in the winter, I'll probably trade it in for one of their foaming hand soaps. I have Endless Weekend, Island Papaya, Turquoise Waters, Coconut eucalyptus. I was surprised by this scent. I'm not normally someone who likes eucalyptus, but I like the combination of those two scents. We have winter sangria. Then there is watermelon lemonade. Golden honey blossom. Golden pear and winter white petals. Here are the travel body washes that I have. As you guys know, I intentionally purchased some of the fall scents in a smaller version to give me some variety because as you'll see in my full size collection, I have a lot of non-seasonal fall scents. And Sometimes it's hard for me to stick with using up a certain scent if it's not seasonally appropriate, so I thought this would help give me some variety. So I have Endless Weekend, one of my favorites. These ones that you see in this packaging, I got for free, which is why I have them. There is Caramel Apricot, Pumpkin Cider, Apple and Honey, Tahiti Island Dream, one of my favorite scents. And then I have two of these rose water body washes. I think these smell divine. These are some of my non Bath & Body Works body washes that don't fit in the tub that I keep all my other ones in. So I have the Soap & Glory Clean On Me Creamy Shower Gel. I don't know if this is just like a thicker, more moisturizing shower gel or if it's meant to be like an in-shower lotion, which is why I haven't used this yet, but I love the scent of it. And then I have three of these Olay ones. I have the Invigorating Champagne Mango and White Ginger. Cooling White Strawberry. And Birch Water and Lavender. 
These are some other non Bath and Body Works body washes that I have that fit in the tub from the body shop. I have frosted berries and I have the frosted plum. I had picked these up at the winter semi annual sale. They're some of my favorite winter scents that they do. And then I have two of Lush's Rose Jam. I do not normally get the size this big, but it was during their buy one, get one free. And so this is the only size that they had available for purchase in Rose Jam that wasn't like a set. And I only wanted the shower gel, so I figured I'd pick up two and I'll be good for a while. And the last one that you guys recently saw me snag was the Julep Rethink Your Shower Hydrating Body Cleansing Oil. All right, here we are with my first round of Bath & Body Works shower gels. I have Tahiti Island Dream, one of my favorite scents. Also have Violet Lily Sky, another scent that I binged on really hard and I'm kind of sick of, so now I'm slowly working my way through what I have left. Aloha Waterfall Orchid. Get Happy, which is White Peach Sangria. Mango Mandarin. This is one of the few throwback scents they've brought back that I actually really liked. And then we have Golden Pineapple Luau. And then here is the other half of the Bath & Body Works shower gels that I have. I have Iced Pear Margarita. I also have this on quite a few body scrubs. Sun, which is Golden Magnolia. My only full size like wintry scent, which is warm vanilla sugar. But I do consider the Beach Night Summer Marshmallow easily a winter scent and I do have two of these. I'm not typically someone who buys multiples because I tend to get sick of scents. I've learned that over time, but I feel like with this one being a basic vanilla scent, I wouldn't really tire of it. And Sheer Cotton and Lemonade, I'm a die hard for this scent. I especially love it in a lotion. I think it's a really relaxing scent. And then up here, I have the Tutti Dolce White Mocha Kiss. And then we have the Lemon Pomegranate Cream. This was one of my favorites as a lotion, but I only allowed myself to buy it as a body wash. Very happily, I only have two travel lotions. I have gotten these just for free by having a coupon. The first one I have is Pink Chiffon, which you can see I've maybe used once. And then I have another of the Sky Violet Lily. Like seriously, I have learned not to binge on scents, but you guys can see sometimes I go really hard for a scent that I love. These are the only body lotions that I have that aren't Bath & Body Works. I try really hard to not acquire any body lotions because this is the most challenging part of my collection, but I received this Fortune Cookie Soap Skywalker Spray Lotion in a monthly box, and then the Spare No Expense Body Milk you guys recently saw in my July unboxing. So these are kind of like unplanned or unintentional, but I'm not upset to have them. And then this is one of the last ones I purchased before I went on my lotion hiatus. This is the Citrus Rose from Ulta. It was on super clearance and it smells really, really good. So I'm hoping to eventually try this out and see if I like their lotions compared to Bath & Body Works. All right, these are all of the body lotions I have in the older packaging before they changed the bottle and the caps. I've been trying to focus on using these up first because some of these date all the way back to 2013. They still smell all right when I go to smell them and pick out my next lotion. So until they kind of go bad or change texture, I will keep trying to work through them. Over here, I have the Wild Peach Poppy scent. This one I'm gonna probably love once I crack into it. I have Wild Honeysuckle. I go through phases where I like this and I don't like it, so currently it's on hold. From the Sweethearts collection, I have Honey Sweetheart. Also from the Sweethearts collection, I have Berry Flirt. I have Sugar Berry Smash. Wild Berry Tulips. And then White Tea and Ginger. I had binged on this scent as well, and so you guys will see I did recently use a full size of this up, and now I'm tired of the scent. So this will probably have to wait until next summer because I just can't stomach it right now, but it is one of my favorites. 
And here's the other half of my Bath & Body Works body lotion collection. I have Sweet Magnolia and Clementine. I loved this collection. Another one of my favorites, I have Pink Lemonade Fizz. I really wanted this in a body wash when I was looking for it at some annual sale. I think a couple winters ago, but I could only find this. I snoozed on this collection and I'm super sad about it because this is also the collection that had the uh, cotton and lemonade scent that I really liked and this I really, really enjoy. Uh, as you can see, more of my binge. I have Sky, which is Violet Lily. I have it in two, which was a huge mistake. This is a really strong scent, and even though I like it, I can tire of it really quickly. I used a body wash this past spring, and now I'm good on this scent for probably another year. So this will take me a while to use those up. I have Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss. I have one odd duck, um, the winter candy apple. I bought this before I really realized that I don't typically like to wear body lotions in the winter and I don't really like to have winter scents in the summer when I'm using body lotion. So this is one of the ones that I'll eventually mix with oil in the winter so I can use it at the appropriate time. But for now, I'm letting it sit and rest because I also binged really hard on this scent and need to let it rest. I have Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber. I'm currently trying to go through the body wash that I have of this. I really enjoy this scent. And then back here, I have Sun, which is a golden magnolia. And lastly, I have Air, which is Pear Blossom. I really enjoyed, as you can see, this collection as well. Here we have the body oils. I use these exclusively to mix with lotion in the winter. My favorite one to use that I've gotten the most experience with is the Physician's Formula Argan Oil. If these are ever on like a good sale or on clearance, I pick them up, which is why I have two. I also have been repurposing um, perfume oils from Fortune Cookie Soap and mixing them with uh, different lotions. This is in the scent Christmas Town, which is not my favorite. I've got the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. And then from Bath & Body Works, I have two body oils. I have the Light as Air, and I have the Chestnut and Argan. These are my body creams from Bath & Body Works. They've changed the name like eight different times, I feel like, with these, but I really tried to curb buying any body creams because in the winters, for at least a year, I would like to be able to take body lotions and mix them with oils. I tried that out last winter and was very successful. Um, you'll also see here that, interestingly, I mostly have summer scents. Um, this was partly a combination of if I can't find a scent I absolutely love at some annual sale in a body wash. I will allow myself to get it in a body lotion or this was before I really understood my scent and body lotion preference for summer versus winter. So I recently had a coupon for a free triple body cream, whatever they call these now, and I got it in the sun. I would have really preferred this in a body wash, but the coupon was only for a body cream. So alas, this is what I got. I once again have a Sky Violet Lily. Definitely will be one that I probably will try to work through this winter. It's the oldest one in my collection. Morocco Orchid Pink Amber. This again is a scent you guys have seen. I liked in multiples. I got it in multiple um, formats, but I probably will get tired of this real soon. I might use this in like the spring. I picked up the Rose Cosmic Cream because I loved the scent, but I did not realize until I applied this that there is glitter in this, which I'm not super pleased about. You guys know my feelings about glitter inside products, so I'm not sure um, when I will use this, but I do love the scent. There is Mango Mandarin. And lastly, we have the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. All right, here we have my non Bath & Body Works body creams. Um, originally, the reason why you see three of these Vaseline Advanced Repair is because I originally was going to be mixing my body lotions with unscented body creams from the drugstore. That was before I discovered oil, so there is a chance that Ben 
will probably get tossed these to use. He's someone who doesn't really like scent lotion anyway, so he probably will end up with these, but for now I'm counting them in my collection. I also have this Nivea in shower body lotion that I count in this body cream category because if I use this in the shower, I then won't put on a lotion. I really love this stuff. I do miss putting on lotion afterwards because I prefer the scent of my lotions over this sort of like soapy scent that Nivea has. And then lastly, I have the Olay Silky Berry Body Lotion. This stuff smells so freaking good, which is why I purchased this. The last part of the body cream collection are the things that I have in tubs. So I have the Fortune Cookie Soap 12 Days of Christmas, Christmas All the Year Body Frosting. It kind of literally looks like a bunch of frosting inside the tub. I also have the Fortune Cookie Soap Cap Aloe Me Whipped Cream. This has aloe and lotion or body cream mixed into it. This is technically something that I probably would enjoy in the summer months, but I have medicated aloe lotion that I purchased that I want to try to use up first. So these are things that I might just save for the winter months. I have my favorite scent, one of my favorite scents, Fortune Cookie Soap, which is Second Breakfast in a uh, Body Frosting. I have my favorite high-end lotion, which is the Too Cool for Schools Egg Mellow Body Butter. This stuff literally smells like eggs and butter, which you wouldn't think is that delicious of a scent, but I assure you it is. I have Fortune Cookie Soap's Good Zombie in Aloe Me Body Whip. Again, you can see that they've got the aloe mixed into the cream. And lastly, I have the Soap and Glories, the Righteous Butter. This I had gotten in that Christmas kit from Ben's mom for this past Christmas. Here we have all of my non Bath and Body Works body scrubs. This is a category in the closet that is an area I'm trying to focus on, but as you guys can see, I'm amassing a lot from other areas. So the first we have is from Fortune Cookie Soap. This is the Smuggler Sugar and Spice Body Polish. And then also from Fortune Cookie Soap, we have the God of Thunder Coffee Body Polish. I'm really not a big fan of these types of body scrubs, the ones that smell like coffee. So I need to like make a solid effort to use them up because I feel like they're just gonna sit in my closet for a lot longer since I don't love the scent. Going off of that, I have the Body Blends Sugar Daddy He'll Look After You. This is an authentic Australian coffee scrub. This one is like half used. I took it out of the shower. These are really quick to use up because you use a lot of product as you scrub, but I just don't love the scent. And then I have the Oats Oats Baby Dancing Oaties. Another recent addition, technically they call this a body wash, but I'm going to categorize it as an, a body scrub. This is the Exfoliating Body Wash and Fortune Cookie Soap in Preserved in Amber. I also have this little sample, which I do count these as just like full-size body scrubs. It says, you're my favorite deputy solid sugar scrub. This came in my Toy Story Fortune Cookie Soap box. I have another sample. This is the 12 Days of Christmas Christmas Eve Foaming Sugar Scrub. And then lastly from Fortune Cookie Soap, I have the Let Them Eat Cake Solid Sugar Scrub. This I do not like the format of, so it's going to take me a while to use it up. I think what I might do is after I get one of these tubs used up, I might put it into a tub. Speaking of tubs, I have two Body Shop scrubs left. Um, I, I have the Pink Grapefruit Body Scrub Jelly. I have the Body Shop's Pina Colada. Oh, love this scent. I'm surprised I haven't pulled it out yet for summer. And then lastly, I have the C Booth Foaming Dry Body Polish and Cleanser. I'm really curious about this format. I'm holding off on trying it out though because I have some other older ones that need to get used up before this one. All right, these are my Bath and Body Works body scrubs. As you can see, they are relatively older. It has been a long time since I have purchased any kind of body scrubs from Bath and Body Works. I want to say we're coming up on maybe like year three, and I still have a lot left in the collection. First ones that we have are from a winter collection, and I do not like these. They are the Shea and Sparkle scrubs. I have one in Vanilla Bean Noel. 
And then there's one in Frosted Coconut Snowball. I don't like these because there's a lot of glitter in them and they don't really have great scrub and they're hard to get out of this packaging. Like my list of complaints goes on for a while with these, but I used up two this winter and I wanna get these two finished off as well. And then I've got one more that I forgot to include in my non-Bath & Body Works ones, which is the number seven Beautiful Skin Perfecting Body Polish. I have one of the Golden Pineapple Luau's. This is part of their White Sand Body Scrub. I really enjoy the texture of these. I've got two of the Aloha Waterfall Orchids. I've got Waikiki Beach Coconut. I picked these all up, like I went ham on these and any of the ones I have double of because they were like 75% off plus a coupon so they were dirt cheap. I've got two of the Tiki Mango Mai Tais. I have three of these Sweet Magnolia and Clementines and I probably used two other ones in this scent, like I bought a ton of these when they went super cheap. I've got the Iced Pear Margarita. And I have the Beautiful Day 2-in-1 Body Scrub and Wash. I have three hair masks. Uh, I recently acquired this Amika Nourishing Mask with C. Buckthornberry scent. The scent pulled me in. I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I just love the scent of it. Really can't wait to try it. I have this tub of the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is not completely full. I have been pulling out of this and putting it into a smaller container that's currently in my shower. And then I have Fortune Cookie Soap's Rebel Princess Restorative Hair Mask. All right, here we have my shampoos and conditioners. I have the Organics Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. Bought this entirely because of its scent. I freaking love the smell of this. I have two of the L'Oreal Smooth Intense Polishing Shampoos. These are super easy to coupon at CVS and Rite Aid, so highly recommend that if you're looking for the L'Oreal Lime. I have the Organics Orchid Oil Conditioner. This, again, smells amazing. And then I have the Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Conditioner. I typically don't always pair my shampoos and conditioners together. I really care more about scent and if it has any kind of like repairing properties. I go through a lot more conditioner than I do shampoo. I have the L'Oreal Smooth Intense Polishing Conditioner. And then lastly, another one that's super easy to coupon, I have the Pantene Repair and Protect Conditioner. All right, in all honesty, I don't know if you guys are gonna wanna see this part of my closet or not, but I constantly talk about all like the hair care categories that I have and how difficult they are for me, but I've never actually shown you guys what is a part of that stuff, so I thought I would just go ahead and film it while I was tearing everything out of my closet already. So. In really no particular order, I have the Life Finds a Way from Forge Cookie Soap Moroccan Oil Hair Detangler. I have the L'Oreal Blow Dry Quick Dry Primer Spray. The Cool Way Strong Hold Spray. Riogio Roscaro Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protection Cream. The I've got the Anis Double Act Curling Essence. Fakai Glossing Cream. Tresemme Keratin Smooth Keratin Infusing Smoothing Serum. Tresemme Keratin Smooth Thermal Technology Heat Activated Treatment. and the L'Oreal El Vive or El Vive Extraordinary Oil. Continuing on, I've got the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. Avon Advanced Techniques Frizz Control Lotus Shield. Caraste Nectar Thermique. No idea what this stuff is. Cool Way Smoothing Lotion. 
Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. Cool Way Low Heat Revolution Boost. Oscar Blondie Daily Silk Serum. About 90% of these items I received in various subscription boxes when I was going really hard on subscription boxes and now I'm just trying to look and research what these things are and find ways to use them. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. All right, the last part of the hoarding closet that again, I've never really shown you guys before, but I talk about in my updates and that's sort of like the skincare. I have multiple subcategories that fall under that umbrella term, but these are all the items that I'm talking about. Much like the sample items that you guys saw with my body scrubs, I also count these all as full size items. I don't differentiate. So I have here the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. I have the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce, St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub, Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel, Caudalie Eye Cream, Coats Face Natural Tinted SPF. 40. Tarte Friction Stick. This is my favorite exfoliator. I'm trying to work through all the other ones just so I can purchase another full size of this. Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cloud Cream Cleanser. Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Julep Dream Big Nightly Renewal Pressed Serum with BHA. Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Salicylic Acid Exfoliant. That is a mouthful. Fiore Baking Soda Cleansing Scrub. Scandinavia Post Makeup Recovery Spray. Number seven, Beautiful Skin Night Cream for Normal to Oily. I don't like this particular one from number seven. I prefer just their normal uh, night cream, so I'm going to have to exchange this at some point. Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Philosophies, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. And then lastly, the number seven Beautiful Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser. All right, guys, that was a lot. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what was in my collection. I'd be curious to know if there are any items that I have that you wish you still had or items that we both have that you really enjoy the scent of. I really enjoy seeing people's Bath & Body Works collections because there's a lot of similar scents that I find people have hoarded over the years, but definitely love to hear from you. Hope you're having a great day and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.